So Nikki Haley over the weekend took to NBC to play all sorts of play the cards and I'm calling shenanigans on the whole thing. Nikki Haley, pfft, calling you out. You're full of crap. I'm not buying it, and I want to share with y'all and see if y'all buy it. Stay with me. She did some crap over the weekend, and the top. I found what I think are the top seven responses to it. They're funny. People responding to it and saying, no, 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 no. So I pulled them in. Let me know what your favorite one is, but this should be fun. And I think uh, we, we may, we might maybe be in agreement on this one because uh, no, ain't buying it. Today's Not Buying It is brought to you by Hidden Hybrid Holsters. Every week I tell you how great they are. Why? Because they are. They're made and crafted by Patriots. They have a massive, massive selection. So choose your favorite Rootly Tootly. Find the one that you like the best. Decide where you want to carry. Use the drop down menus. Get them ordered and then get yours. It's leather, so get it in. Practice on your belt. I think you're gonna like it, I really do. You're gonna carry hidden, you're gonna carry comfortably. It's hiddenhybridholsters.com. You people, thank you for every thumbs up. Identity, I mean that, thank you. Identity politics are a problem and we hear it so much. Well, as, you know, as a black person, I think, that, well, as, as, as a lesbian, I think this. We hear it so much that even in a constitutionally friendly comment section like mine, like very, very pro-constitution, you people, guys will still fall into that because we're so used to it. Well, you know, as a, as a, as a Northern Mexican, I, I, and we'll even frame everything through identity. Can we just be Americans? That'd be, that'd be nice. All right, so over the weekend, Nikki Haley was headed into a weekend after getting smoked in Iowa during the Iowa caucus. And she has said, here's the problem. She has said repeatedly, America does not have a race problem. Racism is not the problem that we say it is. It's not big, and she said it a lot of different ways, but has repeatedly said, nah, not that big of a deal in America, let's talk about something else. And now that she's losing, now that she's losing, she licked her thumb and played the brown card. No, 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 no. All right, so she takes to NBC, and these two, these two reporters, this is not the cream of the crop in reporting. They were so bad. But what's even worse is Nikki saying this stuff, and she said that, you know, she said, I got teased every day, every day, because I was the only Indian American family in the entire town, and they teased me for being brown. And then I started thinking about it, and I'm like, wait a minute, she grew up in South Carolina. South Carolina's pretty brown. So look what I did. I went over to Bamberg, South Carolina, where she is from. Check this out. This is from the 2020 census, but Bamberg, South Carolina, the demographics could not have changed that much since she came up in the 70s and early 80s as the only one. Whites are a minority in Bamberg, South Carolina. You cannot make this up. You can't make this up. Whites are a minority. This town is brown. And uh, I bet the food's good. I bet, I bet they eat good there. Uh, I love me some South Carolina. Love you people. And uh, it's great. But then she plays that card. And it's so absolutely freaking fantastic. Check this out. Kathy Barnett is the campaign manager for Vivek Rama Rama Swami Lama Ding Dong. And she said this, Kathy said this, uh, she, being Nikki Haley, grew up in the deep south. I grew up in the deeper south in southern Alabama on a pig farm with a house with no insulation, no running water, an outhouse in the back, and a well on the side. I was never teased every day for being black. This is race baiting. This is playing the race card. As soon as she gets backed into a corner, Nimrata Haley... Suddenly, with an $8 million fortune that she has, she is sitting on fortune and playing the race card. I was, I was just so beat up and torn down because I was black, and then I became governor. One of her parents was, uh, was a professor. I think the other was a lawyer. I think so. They're both, like, they're both super, super well-off and uh, awesome. It's American dream. Get at it. I love it. 
but she played the race card. I'm not buying it. Calling her out. She's playing the race card. This is identity politics, and it is complete nonsense. Remember, she did this whole Civil War thing, and somebody said, hey, what's the actual cause of the Civil War? And she said, well, you got to look at the government and what the states are doing. La, 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 la. Uh, that's not the right answer there, Nikki. And then she goes, but, 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 I had black friends growing up. She played the black friends growing up card. Nonsense. That hit over the weekend. I thought it was hilarious. And here are my favorite seven, if I can find it here, my favorite seven responses from the internet. CA state lawyer says, I love nothing more than a millionaire telling me how disadvantaged and underprivileged they are. I'm with you, CA state lawyer. Next. Bleep blurp says NBC slobbering all over her because she's going against T-Man and, and she's a woman. If you didn't know this, the leftist media loves her. They love her. Next. Bamford says it was so hard she reached the very top. Mm. <laughs> Next. Randolph. Ah, I said, what in the world is that? Randolph says this, after doubling and tripling down on how America was never a racist country, she's going to try and play the race card, how she had it, how hard she had it as a brown girl, this freaking clown. Emphasis mine. Next. Deleted says, <coughs> I'm sorry, but this crap will 100% not work in the GOP. Flip that R to a D if you want to pull that crap. Eh, too bad she's too smart to be a successful Democrat. How about that? She's too smart to be a successful Democrat. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think Nancy Pelosi is, some, is a moron at all. Not with a half a billion dollar fortune. No. Eh, what on a, 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 a cheat? Yes. A criminal? Yes. But dumb? I don't know. Interesting comment. Next, Dave Matthews. I don't know if it's the real Dave Matthews, but a Dave Matthews says... As a privileged Southern white woman with an $8 million fortune, I know the hardships and pain that come with racism. <laughs> my favorite, <laughs> my favorite, my favorite. This is so good. Next, Bojack says, she's about as brown as a saltine. Randolph, go. Diabetes.